Well, the two pilots accused of contravening the executive order signed by the River State Governor to check the spread of coronavirus are being detained at a state government facility. The government says this is for the protection of inmates of Port Harcourt Correctional Center. In a statement on Thursday, the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Professor Zakis Adango, said the pilots were moved to the facility after he obtained a variation order from the magistrate court. The new court order from the Chief Magistrate Court changed the place of remand from the Port Harcourt Correctional Center to a government-owned hotel where the pilots are being attended to by medical personnel attached to the River State Coronavirus Medical Team. Joining me now to discuss this development and more is TVC News correspondent Uche Okoro. Also to discuss this controversy with me live is Mande Ubani, a legal practitioner. Let's begin in Port Harcourt. What more do you know about this government-owned facility? Uh, the position of the River State government is that these individuals might have been infected by the virus. Have you visited this facility? What arrangements really are on ground? Well, we know that as of yesterday, initially, the government said um, the, wild, the, the two pilots were first arranged, followed by 10 passengers of the aircraft who were arranged. Initially, we were told, even by the a police prosecutor there, that uh, the two pilots were remanded at the Port Harcourt Correctional Services. Uh, but today, we're getting update that um, they didn't spend a night at the Port Harcourt Correctional Services. Rather, they were moved to... Uh, a facility owned by this owned and managed by the state government well the information available to me i can tell you for certain that that state government facility is in fact a hotel in the old gra part of potakot within the same location of the river state uh, government house so that's where um, the facility is located and uh, we've been there uh, a short while ago, it is business as usual around that location, though I was expecting to see some form of um, uh, security presence, um, security personnel in and around the vicinity, but it is business as usual in and around the said hotel that has been named in that statement from the River State Commissioner, uh, Commissioner for Justice and Attorney General. So that's the situation. That's as much as we know in terms of uh, the whereabouts and um, the fate of those two pilots. Hold on there, Uche. Let's bring in Monde Urban, a legal practitioner who joins us here in Lagos. The federal government appears to have responded to this. The Minister of Aviation particularly mentioned yesterday that aviation matters are on the exclusive legislative list, which automatically assigns the operation to the federal government. Uh, from a constitutional point of view, who owns the airspace and who has the authority to exercise some form of refrain, I, I, I mean constraints rather, at this time? Uh, well, uh, as uh, rightly pointed out by the, the minister you have just mentioned, uh, the issue of aviation is clearly within the exclusive uh, jurisdiction of the federal government of uh, Nigeria. Uh, but you also recall that when uh, Governor Yusawiko made the announcement that he did, uh, closing both sea, land, and, 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 uh, and uh, airspace, he specifically mentioned the fact that uh, he cannot have the power to stop any aircraft from coming into the Port Harcourt Airport. But what he can do is that he will uh, disallow any person that comes with a flight to enter into the state uh, where he has uh, absolute uh, jurisdiction. So in other words, he has no power over the aviation sector, but he has power over people or passengers coming into the state where he has uh, uh, jurisdiction. What I found out in this particular case is clearly a case of lack of uh, proper uh, communication. I don't see why there should be any crisis in this matter. After all, the federal government approved all the measures that some of these states' uh, governors have taken that I consider very proactive in the wake of this pandemic in order to curtail the spread of the disease. They even approved the issue of closure of borders, even though some of us questioned the constitutionality of some of the measures that the state governors were taking. But the federal government, for the sake of saving lives of Nigerians, approved some of those measures. So in allowing any flight to come into Port Harcourt, having known that there has been such an announcement from the state governor of Rivers, would have been uh, probably to communicate that there are certain persons entering into your state and they have the permission of the federal government. If that communication uh, was done, I don't think that should have been this crisis. But I also believe that this crisis is some this crisis. But I also believe that this crisis is something that can be resolved. Uh, without the measure that have been taken now in the, this regard. The, the, the intention that is brewing in the state and in the state of the federal government 
it's clearly unnecessary at this time. Mentioned that there's a communication gap, but the directive of Mr. President two weeks ago was clear enough that um, certain people or certain organizations were going to be exempted, and one of them were the oil and gas sector, which apparently uh, meant that the expatriates being conveyed by this helicopter uh, were doing that under that umbrella of exemption given uh, by Mr. President. Wasn't that communication clear enough for the River State Government, for instance, to align with? Now, uh, you, you find out that even when there are certain persons that are exempted uh, from moving on the road, you can also be stopped by the Nigerian police on the road, even though you have got an exemption later. It is for you now to show them the exemption later from any of the appropriate authorities before they will allow you to go. What I'm saying in effect is that if those people enter into uh, uh, the state, river state, and then shows it later that comes from the federal government that these people are exempted, you know, from whatever executive order he has passed in the state, it would be wrong uh, for the governor to actually stop them or even to take them to the court. But as I said earlier, this mistake has been done at this time. What we should do now is not to exacerbate it. What we can do now is to advocate uh, for peaceful resolution of this matter. How do we do that? The Attorney General of River State can enter Nodi Prosequi over this case and, and, and ask these guys to be released from wherever they are detained at this time in order to lessen the tension. Okay. And also seal the premises company that has been sealed in order to also lessen the tension. What I'm trying to say is that if we begin to analyze what has happened in this matter, we will exacerbate it. We we'll rather try as much as possible to mitigate whatever crisis that is brewing in that area. I get your point, Mr. Bani. Uche is standing by in Port Harker. Let's understand if there's been a correspondence between the federal government and the River State government officially on this matter, vis-a-vis uh, -vis the position of the Minister of Aviation yesterday. It particularly mentioned that Carvington helicopters got approval from uh, the minister as well as from the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority to fly. Did the governor mention this in his statement? As a matter of fact, yes, but even before um, that, even before he mentioned that yesterday and reiterated that today, if you listen, if you recall um, comments credited to the River State Commissioner of Police, he said that the aircraft landed without signal. And they, and they also do not know their mission in the state. So going by comments coming from the River State Commissioner of Police, as of yesterday, it is safe to assume that, uh, or to say that the authorities in River State were not aware that such a communication had uh, transpired between Carverton Helicopters and the, min the, the ministry, Federal Ministry of Aviation. Um, the also reiterated in his uh, comments saying that um, claiming, according to him, Carverton Helicopter claims to have secured permission from some uh, federal government agencies which he did not name. So if as of today, um, the reverse governor is still saying that uh, the helicopter claims to have secured permission, then it is also okay to interpret that even as at this time that we speak, um, the government is not officially private to that communication. So um, like um, the guests uh, tried to um, uh, uh, tried to say and point out, and uh, like you also asked him, it is all, it, it certainly is a, this is actually a product of what we can describe as a community communication gap because All right, apparently okay. those who are on ground here the security absolutely and the government we might just have to leave it there for now that, um, i'm also hoping that the restriction of movement is strict beyond airspace to other uh, form of commu i mean other form of transportation in river state uchi okoro tvc news correspondent joining us live uh, from port takat monday Ubani, legal practitioner here in lagos thank you gentlemen for talking to us and coming up tonight on tvc news